and welcome to day four of the Ritchie road trip. Uh, we've done Wales, we've done Ireland, we've done Northern Ireland, we're in Scotland and uh, we're leaving Scotland today to go to um, a place you might have heard called England. Yeah, I think I've heard of it. Um, so that's where I'm heading now uh, for a day in the Lake District and see a few different different bits and pieces around there. So um, ready to roll. Let's do this. Ding. Turn on to the A66 between Cockermouth that way and Keswick that way. Cockermouth is uh, famous for several reasons. Um, one of them is it's where the river Cocker runs through. Secondly, it's where Williams Wood. In 8.6 miles, turn right. It's, it's where William Wordsworth um, lived. Um, so that's uh, that's Cockermouth. And uh, I'm now on the way to Keswick, about 10 miles away from Keswick. It's amazing looking around the countryside here, how massive hills and the, the mountains, the clouds are kind of at the top of them. You can't see the tops of the, uh, the peaks because the cloud is so low. Um, and it's quite a, a bright day generally. There's blue skies on the horizon there, and these white fluffy clouds which William Wordsworth spoke about um, as he wandered like a cloud, uh, or as a cloud, which it wandered. Um, so that's very much the area. It's uh, an area where people appreciate the countryside and the, uh, the amazing magnitude of the kind of the hills, the whole experience, the, uh, the fields. This is all here for a reason, for a purpose. And it's just it's just such a nice feeling to be around it. I've lived in towns and cities all my life, but you just can't beat the countryside. It's it's something else. It gives life, literally, with the, the trees and the uh, um, and the air. But it's just it's something special. We really should appreciate it a lot more and do all we can to protect it. I'm at the Derwent Pencil Museum, home of the world's largest pencil. Let's go in and have a look.
in the Lake District, just outside Keswick. You see, there's hills all the way there, but there's clouds that low. It really is a remarkable scenery. This here are the Castle Rig Stone Circles. So high up here. Stone Circle, just outside Keswick. Size of the hills, there's the water underneath there of the lake. The colour of the clouds, just look at that water there. Great expanse of water in the sky, on the hillside, all the trees. This is a very uh, tight and windy country road from the top of Borrowdale over across a very very thin bridge. See the uh, 
stream coming down the hillside there. Not see much else other than the road. Uh, I've just come down from what was called Surprise View at the top of Borrowdale, and it was. Uh, I hate to be that person, but it wasn't a surprise. If you go up to a massive hill, the top of a massive hill, and look down, and there's a lake at the bottom of it, and lots of valleys and hillsides and all that kind of nice stuff. I wasn't surprised that it would be pretty good. It was very good. It was an amazing view. Was it a surprise view? No, I wouldn't call it a surprise. Great view. Whether they're allowed to get away with calling things great view or amazing view, um, I don't know. Surprise view. Amazing view, yes. Recommended if you're in the area, uh, go to Borrowdale and then up to Surprise View, just outside Keswick, this is. And uh, yeah. Enjoy the view. Let me know if you're surprised. Silly speeds, but it's just a good way to get round. Driving is fun. Can't get past his Range Rover though, because he's a little bit fat in his lane. I'm gonna have to duck in. Knowing what's right and knowing what's wrong when you're uh, overtaking is important. He's a bit of a fat boy in this uh, in his lane, but yeah, here we are. It's just enjoying the countryside. There's the hillsides, the sheep, there's animals everywhere. It's just it's such a nice place to drive. It's something that everyone should come to every now and again, just to enjoy. Not only straight motorway rubbish. Bend, 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 weaving through the mountains along the valleys, every now and again you've got lakes and rivers and, and uh, bits of water all around you. Interesting road signs, just places you've not heard of before. It's good. The Lake District is good. Driving in the Lake District is good. Even if I can't ever take the Range Rover.
things about uh, this road trip is just the time just to kind of sit and concentrate and to think about other stuff that's going on in life. I've had the pleasure of listening to audio books as I drive along. Uh, I've done nearly 650 miles now uh, on the road plus another 110 by sea and it's just been nice just to kind of have that time away from computers and day-to-day -day goings on. It's just nice to be able to just concentrate and learn and listen and to hear what's going on. I'm currently listen, listening to um, uh, an audio book called The Audacity of Hope by Barack Obama. It's his story of how he got started in politics and his beliefs in, in hope and positivity and uh, wanting the best things in life uh, for all rather than just for a select few. And it's a really enjoyable listen hearing about people who want to provide for other people, who want to be able to do stuff for communities and to be able to make the best of life for all who need it and all who uh, should be getting the very best possible. Um, so that's a good listen so far. And um, yeah, just being able to sit comfortably, not worried too much about time as to what time we turn up at the next location because uh, I'm in charge of my own uh, destiny. As long as I get to uh, this one place I've got booked for half past three I think it is, half past three, four o'clock today. As long as I get there on time I'm fine. As long as I get to my hotel this evening I'm fine. I've got a, f a fairly flexible schedule and it's just nice to be able to not need to rush around if I want to stop off and see something I can do, if I want to stop off for a, a cup or something to eat, I can do. Um, and this really good thing is, it's just me. I can just be me. And that's good. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in life and being uh, us for other people that we kind of forget to be ourselves. And uh, reminding ourselves who we are and what we think, what we value, what we appreciate, those are good things as well. Uh, so that's that for now, so uh, see you in a bit.